exactly. think uh, one thing which is very we feel exciting to try is creating even more light, even more transparent uh, architecture. The, one of the goals at the outset was not to make a building, to make a something, you know, like a little intervention, if you will. I think they called us on February 8th. I think we said yes three, four days later. Something designed three weeks after that. We usually get involved in around February or, or this year, uh, in early March. And um, considering that the building needs to be finished always at the end of June or early July, that gives really no more than a five month design and construction program. So yeah, in terms of uh, normal building projects, it's a pretty tight time scale. One of the first things um, Nishizawa told me at the beginning of the project is that don't treat this like a sheet of metal with lots of colors. They are designing from like a chunk of aluminium. They're just chipping that chunk of aluminium to the absolute minimum. The building is, um, you know, on the face of it, a very simple building. I mean, the kind of simplicity and openness and seamlessness is really you know, a big part of what, of what the team was trying to achieve. If you know, describing each one of these little bits as leaves, there was always needed to be a big leaf. So there were obviously many, many different shapes, but they always had like one big section where you could have the auditorium, and they always had, at a minimum, one medium part where you could have the cafe. Midway through, we always had the table part because we thought that was cool. So those those kind of three worlds were established, and then we wanted to get kind of the biggest extent that we could. So it's, I think it was quite easy for us to understand on a macro level really what they were what they were intending to to try and achieve but what we didn't understand I don't think what they understood at the start but we learned together through the process is actually what that means in terms of every single detail in the right down to the uh, the way that the panels are joined together the way the column meets the roof the way the lights are recessed into the floor the way that the conduit is invisible the way the roof drains everything is kind of affected by that um, uh, minimal kind of uh, Simplicity. In the end, we're incredibly interested in quite minimal things and not seeing screws. And you know, together with Arup, we came to quite a quite a good detail. I think you know how the the panels tongue together and slot together and screw together is a very sensible, almost natural way of progressing. You can see on the panel, you can see the um, the, the plywood tongues where the core protrudes out. Um, and the tongues from the adjacent panels lock together. It becomes quite a sort of three-dimensional jigsaw puzzle to get the arrangement of tongues such that you can slide the panel in at 45 degrees and make it lock with, with two neighbours that are already in place. Many architects talk about um, sort of connectivity between outside and inside, but quite often it's quite clear where the edge is. And if you really go to, you know, this year's serpent, it's very difficult to really sense where the edge of the building is. Part of it is, is the desire to have it sort of disappear a little bit, so that when, it, when it's all mirrored, you see reflections of the park, and you kind of don't know wh where the, the thing ends and begins. And sometimes people feel continuity, sometimes some a little bit definite definitive area or also the people feel also can see the also the the moving of the <laughs> car or the moving of the and people uh, mm. it's uh, all mixed in this uh, architecture with no walls will allow everybody to come in come out from all around which is uh, which can give the definition of freedom like park. This is one thing that uh, we wanted to achieve. It's the absolute opposite of, of Hey Look At Me. I mean, it's not going to stop traffic driving past in the same way that some of the previous pavilions have, have done, that sort of poke you know, above the trees and so on. So I think, uh, yeah, I think that kind of quiet, sort of, you know, sleek um, elegance is, is really what, what differentiates this year's pavilion from any other. 
I think it speaks for itself. I mean, it's a you know, it's a simple thing. I don't have. There's no secrets about it. It's uh, it's just like a floating funny mirror in the park, reflecting, bringing the park in, mixing pavilion and park. It's, a, it's pretty simple.